I'm Dave. I mean, I feel like anybody that's probably been following us for a while has seen me on camera or podcasting or something. I've been with Outdoor Vitals maybe five years in spring, so five years maybe in March. I have ground coffee. It's already pre-ground. I usually just put it in. A little Ziploc bag. I have a filter, and this filter is an attachment for an algae, so just screw it on there. That's really it. I have water, I have a pot, and I have a stove. So what you're gonna do is pour the grounds into the filter. Typically, I'll also measure out like however much water I want in here first. So um, typically about eight ounces of water per cup. I actually don't quite let it go to a rolling boil, just a little bit before that. Um, just don't want to burn the grounds. It's nice just to have a nice hot drink, especially when it's really cold. Like I'll do this right in the vestibule of my tent so I don't even have to get out of my sleeping bag. That's awesome. <laughs> so like, if you, it's not like quite totally to a rolling boil. That's where I like it. So it's not too hot. Now you have Folgers in your cup. <laughs> Hi, I'm Narissa, and I'm a gear specialist at Outdoor Vitals. Um, making some coffee this morning, and um, I do it a little differently on the trail than at home. At home, I'm maybe a little old-fashioned. I like a percolator. I like it bubbles for about an hour on my stove gets the beans, uh, gets everything out of the beans, it's so good. But I don't have the space, weight, or fuel to carry a percolator out here. Um, so what I do is I grind my favorite beans as a treat and I take a coffee filter and I tie just a little bit of you know, twine, make sure it's not waxed or anything, it's just cotton. And it basically works like a tea bag. Uh, you'll just steep it in the coffee and uh, and you'll be good to go. I like it better than a pour over method. There's a lot of pour over methods out there for uh, backcountry coffee, but I, uh, I I think the water gets too cold and I like very hot cups of coffee. So I might actually just go ahead while it's still on the stove, just turn it down a little bit. Um, I like a hot cup of coffee, um, so I'll just let it steep while it's still kind of staying warm since it is a cold morning. And yeah, it'll just sit there steeping like a tea bag for five to 10 minutes until it's as strong as I want it. This is about 16 ounces of, of water. And I would say, I don't know, maybe two tablespoons of grounds. Full disclosure, I used my collagen scoop to measure. <laughs> so, the scoop from my collagen. <laughs> so it's not an exact science. Um, and yes, I do also have my collagen, which I do put in my coffee. Not afraid of that thing breaking apart? Nope. Yeah, I tie a very nice bow. It's like a little present that I look forward to not unwrapping. <laughs> I don't want it to unwrap. <laughs> Nothing's worse than grounds in your coffee, in my opinion. So I uh, know I will never do cowboy style coffee on the trail. Cowboy style coffee being you just throw grounds straight in the water and you hope that they sink. And then you just drink it. Why don't you like Dave's method? Um, with pour over, it has to like drip through. You pour it and it has to drip through and then you've got it sitting there waiting for the rest of the water to drip through and it cools the coffee off too fast for my preferences. Pour over is very popular. I don't have anything against pour over. I just like a hot cup of coffee. There it is. Almost as good as at home. <laughs>